25-year-old lady was referred to us uh, with complaints of recurrent uh, malina, and uh, she had drop in HB requiring blood transfusion. A uh, few endoscopic interventions were performed elsewhere, and uh, she has undergone multiple endoscopy, including enteroscopy and capsule. Unfortunately, the bleeding site was never identified. So, patient was referred to us uh, for uh, an evaluation. So, what we s always start is an upper GI endoscopy. Even if a uh, patient has undergone several endoscopic interventions, we make sure we see the stomach well before we advance into the duodenum so that we do not miss any lesion in the fundus of the stomach, as you can see on retroflexion. Uh, we make sure that uh, a proper detailed uh, evaluation of stomach is done uh, with all the fluid cleared and uh, make sure there are no angiomatous lesion, especially in very elderly patients. And then we slowly, as we move ahead, we see the pyloric opening and very gently as we enter the pyloric opening, we see some fresh blood here. So you can see some very fresh blood and a little bit of altered blood. Uh, which uh, tells us that uh, telltale sign that there is an active oozing going on uh, in somewhere in the proximal duodenum. So once you identify some blood in the duodenum, especially fresh blood, then you uh, go a little slow, give some gentle wash. As you can see here, we are constantly washing and s aspirating at the same time. And uh, make sure that uh, all the duodenal mucosa is uh, observed uh, very, very carefully. Uh, you can see here the villi seen on high resolution, high definition endoscopy. And this is where the importance of high definition endoscopy will come in uh, to, to pick up very, very small bleeding sites. Uh, we went ahead with uh, this gentle washing and we stopped at where we saw some very fresh blood. You can see here there is some fresh blood. So we wanted to focus our energy there on this area. You can see here. And then uh, we started flushing. You can see here on the fold there is some active oozing going on. So we'll flush with saline. You can see there. And there you can see a very small trickle of blood coming out. And that is the site of oozing. There's a small duodenal doula foil looks like, a small arterial bleed. You can see here, fresh blood coming out. And uh, these are extremely difficult areas to treat because patient is uh, breathing, you can see. So we, we wanted to be very sure that we fulgurate this area well. Uh, clipping could have been another option, but uh, we wanted to first go ahead with uh, thermal energy. We are using a bipolar heater probe here because this probe has, uh, along with uh, the Herbie cautery, an automatic uh, cutoff uh, point when it fulgurates to a particular extent of the tissue. So this is a particularly important and very useful device. Uh, however, as you can see here, the active oozing, uh, we are not able to very well control with this bipolar heater probe. You can see that. So once we try to see what is going on and is not helping enough, uh, we changed over to a regular dormia basket. We are using the tip of the dormia basket to fulgurate this blue bleeding point. And once we pinpointed the bleeding point with, uh, with the cautery, then again we took bipolar heater probe uh, to make sure that there is a complete hemostasis. Now studies have shown that we can do